Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matrenga, and you are probably watching this video right now because you are either sick, starting to get sick, or you've been sick for a long time and you're wondering if it's cool to work out. We're gonna dive into a variety of different scenarios to hopefully answer your question. So without further ado, let's get it rolling. So the short answer as to whether or not you should lift when you're sick, beat up, or run down is it depends. And it depends on a few primary factors. The first of which is what type of sickness or fatigue are you dealing with? Uh, if you have a bacterial infection that could easily be transmitted to other members of your gym or your health club, you should lay low. One, it's not good for your body to be exercising when you're trying to fight off a bacterial infection. And two, it's really inconsiderate of people around you at the gym. I've had the opportunity to work in a variety of different gym settings in my time as a trainer and nothing was more frustrating to me than individuals coming in and out of the gym who are clearly dealing with some type of infection or were very sick. It's inconsiderate of other people, so it's best to lay low for that reason. Now, if you have some type of viral infection that perhaps isn't as contagious, whether or not you should work out is gonna be primarily based on the symptoms. If you have whole body systems that extend anywhere outside of the upper respiratory tract, you should definitely still lay low. Your immune system needs all the energy it can to fight off the virus. And while exercising does have some chronic immune boosting effects, it will suppress the immune system in the acute and in the short run, which will inhibit your ability to recover. Now, there's one study by Martin et al. in 2010 that did find if you have a contained upper respiratory infection, that's kind of just what we would typically call a head cold, um, you know, low intensity exercise may well be fine and potentially even helpful. Now, if you have a head cold or a sinus related problem and you're doing high intensity aerobic exercise such as sprints or even long duration running, you might find that it's quite hard to perform and uncomfortable. So I would keep most of your training low intensity anaerobic like weightlifting if you're dealing with a head cold after it's been a few days. Now, if you're generally just feeling fatigued and under the weather and you're not quite sure if you're coming down with something, this would be a time where I absolutely recommend working in a rest day. If you feel as though your immune system is compromised, you're around people who might be sick, perhaps you're feeling a tickle in your throat, something's coming on, that would be a perfect opportunity to get proactive, take a day off, perhaps do something like the sauna, some stretching, meditation, things that help you relax and will give your immune system a fighting chance to fend off an oncoming infection or virus. Because like I said before, one bout of exercise will create an acute stress environment that will lower your immunity temporarily and compromise your chance of fighting these things off. So to wrap it all up, Big answer is it depends. If you're very sick with a bacterial infection, you should absolutely not be working out and spreading that to other people. If you have a virus, depending on the severity of the virus and kind of where it's centered in your body, the answer might be yes on some days and no on others. And if you feel like you're coming down with something, I absolutely recommend taking a rest day. Remember, you have 365 days in a year to train. Missing one of them is not going to slow you down, but getting very sick certainly will. It takes you one day off to fully beat an oncoming sickness, or perhaps two weeks to hit a lingering sickness that you could have avoided in the first place simply by resting. I know which of those two I would choose. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you like it. Comment below some of your favorite remedies when you're feeling sick, if you train when you're feeling sick, or if not. And be sure you're subscribing to the channel. Thanks again so much for tuning in to Mind Pump TV. Have a good one.